This video is going to show the inverter installation, which as you'll see isn't necessarily an easy thing to do if you've got an old or a crowded fuse box. Okay, well the first thing I'm looking at is to see how much space I've got in the uh, board because I have to put a circuit breaker and cover similar to the one that's already on here. But I believe I should be able to fit it just in there. So I've got room on the front, but now I've got to have a look at the back to make sure that I've got room there. As we can see on the back, basically in the same spot, there's a lot of cables there, so I'll have to un unclip these cables, pull them out of the way, so I can get my holes in there to drill in so that I don't uh, hit any of the cables. Um, but you'll see as I go along the changes that I have to make. By the time I do my connection up to the board, I've got a metre a metre and a half of AC cable maximum. Make sure it's not tight because you need to be able to have the movement on the board still. You need to be able to follow that right, and not, not go like this. <laughs> right, we've got a DC isolator we're putting on, on the wall here. I will be putting a uh, circuit breaker in here shortly. It's a safety device. Basically the whole system from start to finish. You've got the panels on the roof. From the panels, sun hits those, it creates a DC power. From there, cables run around through the roof, runs down, comes through and into this circuit breaker here, or safety switch. From the safety switch, it comes into the inverter. From the inverter, once it's got a certain amount of voltage, it decides it's time for it to turn itself on. It monitors what's going out, happening out on the grid, out in the street. So basically, if it sees 240 volts, that's what it pushes out, 240 volts. If it sees zero volts, it does that as well. It's uniquely designed that way so that later on, local council comes along and wants to uh, shut down the power to do work out on the street and the grid, at least that way that they know that there's not 20 people in the local area that are all pumping power out into the street. Well, at the moment it's telling us exactly how much power we're getting from the roof. To get 2.2 in the middle, in of, the middle winter. of winter, that's a fantastic effort. But this has what we call a knock screen. You can actually tap the screen and it'll light up the first time, and then the next time it'll go through parts of the system. Like here it's telling us at the moment this has actually done six kilowatts in total. The next part on it says how long it's been online for today, so it's been on for about 10 minutes now, it's been running. It's telling me the readings from the array, which is the panels on the roof and the current that it's producing at the moment, which is quite good. All right. And then it's also telling me what's happening out in the street. There's also a, a sticker that tells you how to shut the unit down if you need to. And as I said, maintenance, the only thing I can suggest is middle of summer, haven't had any rain for a while, obviously there might be a bit of a dust build up, don't worry about any detergent on it, just get the hose, sprinkle it over it a little bit, wash a bit of dust off and you're back to brand new again. I'll go through it with the customer and explain how it works. Yes, there will be an inspection on the work that's been done. The energy supplier will come out, whoever that may be, and they will then proceed to go through their rules and check my work off. The last test I have to do before I pack up is make sure that the unit can turn off by taking my wire back out of the board and pulling that out, you'll see that it's now got a fault and the inverter's gone offline and that's instantaneous. From there, the last thing I do is turn my DC power off up the top. I've turned that off and it'll just take a minute or so and that'll just fade away. It's faded already. There you go. So it's now completely turned off. And that's it. That's the last test I've got to do. I'll just put everything back together now and I'm finished.